jamming the radio. Intel right now. We're doing the Intel walk. different tactical gear he's tacti he's tacticizing with tacticality I tell him to throw out his weapons I'm telling him to throw out thine weaponry you weaponry boy we're here live in Frisco, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, where there's a standoff at the moment in front of the Safeway. What a beautiful backdrop to have a standoff in. Will he go out like a Viking today? I know this kid. He's come into my store. I think they're going to extract him soon. Live, Colorado. press, ladies and gentlemen, is what this means. What does it mean? It means that we can stand on here and we can record our officials in their official capacities. This is what we like to see our cops do. You know? Guys that really want trouble, like this guy. So what happened was, was um, you see how he's parked? He's been parked like that for a while, since yesterday, I heard. And they asked him to park correctly and then he flipped out and generated this you know he generated this kind of a response where we have sections of blockings I had to block our store off and me and Miss Lynn had to kick people off a lot which was pretty bad because people didn't really want to leave at first lady in arms watching the guy gathering intels get up Craig so the guy name is this guy's name is Craig <laughs> come on Craig
Come on, Craig. You've got to give it up, Craig. Craig got the SWAT to come pick his ass up. The higher ups. Car 1704. I don't know who that belongs to. It was a guy with a gold shield. Looks like a lieutenant. I wonder who this lady is. Craig opened and then shut. Craig opened and then shut. They're given, I mean, these guys, you know, are relatively being very patient with the kid. You know, they're trying to keep the atmosphere pretty, you know, relaxed and professional. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm just trying to. My boy's ex military, you can tell. Forget him. I'll see you, Sarge. <laughs> Come on, Craig. Come out with your hands up, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Mark, man, you know, Mark will come to you. Follow the commands and we ain't going to hurt you, he said. That sounds like a robber. That's what robbers tell people. Just do what I tell you and we ain't going to hurt you. Craig is by the window of the door. They keep telling him to throw his knives out of the window. He's told him. He's told him like at least seven, eight times to throw his knife out of the window. Craig fucking messing around. He's, he's Craig is making hand gestures back to him. 60% of how we talk to each other is through body language, guys. Tell him to throw his two knives out of the window. Remember, I will remind everybody... Clear Creek County killed a, killed a kid over knives and rock hammers in his car. 
that was a record-breaking settlement that Clear Creek had made with that family for Colorado. Record-breaking for Colorado. $19 million they awarded the family. This guy is much older than that kid, and this guy is way bigger than that kid. And this guy didn't call for help. So... Drone's up again. Drone is up again. That's Craig making those honking noises out of his uh, Dodge Ram. Black dish. He's got the American flag embroidered on the on the rear of his truck. You know what I think they're doing with that drone? I think they're probably spraying it with something, dude. I think they're develop I think they're delivering some kind of agent that's gonna make Craig sleepy and drowsy. Cause they came they came level with him and they're just staring at him with the drone. I'll show you guys, see if we can see it. Drone is you see that green car that's right directly in front? That is not its headlight. That is the drone that is level with his window. See the lights on it? My camera sucks. Sorry, guys. I don't have an iPhone. Uh-oh. My boy's putting his tack helmet on. Look at him. He's going to get that helmet. They're going to go grab him. We're fixing to go grab Craig. I know it. Go grab Craig then, baby. Yeah. Boys in blue don't play. You know, never mind all the fun lollygagging and going to public buildings and seeing if they respect our First Amendment right and all that. You know, you got a lot of otters that do that. This is what they do, the cops. This is what we want them and need them to do. You know, crazy guy. This guy is gigantic in there, guys. The average guy like me, I couldn't go and say, hey, man, you're doing something wrong. Can you please, you know, correct yourself? And then what happens? He beats one of us up very badly. This is what we need our boys in blue for. I've got all the Craigs and the Craigalities and the Bashanalities. They've got eyes on Craig, and they're not playing around. There's all kinds of radio tech and tech technologies therein of the tech type. Sorry, but this corporal right here, she is freaking very pretty lady. No, it sounds weird being that we got this situation, but there's beauty in all of this, guys. There's beauty in life all around us. I think they're going to start moving on him soon. They're gearing up for gearing type movements. I don't always try to show the guys in a bad light. See, I show them in a light. We have to be, we have to be diplomatic when it comes to our public officials. When it comes to big crazy guys, because I can tell you, I know this guy that's in the truck. I don't know him, but he comes into the store to shop. And that guy in there is big. You'll see. We're finna spray him.
He's jamming music. I don't even know if they can hear it. Playing country music. I think he's trying to pull out the cop's heartstrings. Try that in a small town. I think he's playing. He rolls the window back up. He's throwing a couple of things out of his car. Pot canister. Looks like some kind of books. Out of his truck, rather. for the moment they go in on them. Hold tight, people. All right, guys. I think they're going to start taking effort and steps to start closing the gap. Like the Colorado Buffs. 
closing the gap. Picked up the shield. The one guy that was on my other video, right, that I was just talking to straight up. Right? He's right there, guys. I think I have the best view. She's so serious, bro. Her serious with the lookout, like she's a huntress. She's hunting. Try that in a small town. They, they're controlling traffic now. That's what I'm saying, boy. Don't, don't break the law, guys. It's not gonna work. I think they're gonna, they're about to go in on them. I think they're gonna have me move. Cause they're totally clearing it all up. I think they're about to move in. discussing those are the big big wigs those are the big bosses right there so you got medium rank and then you got big rank see the big rank big rank will probably clear they're assessing because they got people still wanting to see so they're assessing things Too bad I ain't got a life. Uh. Yeah, my subscribers go live. I'm not talking to Craig anymore. They're about to go in there and get Craig. Put the gun down, Craig. Put the gun down, Craig. Yep, they're about to go in on them. They're starting to create the police line. Now they're making their do not cross line. You know what that means? They're about to go in on them. See, they're take. They're doing other things. They're making the perimeter tighter and tighter. And so when you go up and the police go, "Hey, can you get back?" This is the tape that the auditors talk about. Do you have tape up? I was going to tell him he can come across here if he needs to, but I'm going to see what's going on. There goes Sheriff. I think that's Jamie right there. Fitz Simmons. There goes Sarge. He might give a directive. Yeah. They're gathering. You can feel the energy of them about to pounce. You can feel it. Like the, the energy of the tension. It's it's totally a real thing, dude. You can totally feel it, man.
They wish they wish they wish they could work at Circle K right now because they could be on. Uh oh, he's throwing things out. Craig is throwing more things out of his vehicle. Okay, now throw the knives out. When I saw his little movements that he made, because I could see through his side view mirror, I know you guys really can't on the camera. It was like he was telling them, no, he's not going to throw out the knives last time they were talking about his knives. Like he was doing the no, no, no type signal, you know, like wagging your finger, no, no, no. His window all the way down. Yeah, it's hard, guys. No, it's. Standoff started at 7 a.m. It's 10. Keep asking Craig to throw his knives out. Those guys are tacking up. They're tacked up, dude. I think that is Jamie, dude. Looks like Jamie. I don't know. Be mad, niggas. They go, they're amping up. They're moving. Can 
to go without the shield. Greg, please come out with your hands in the air. Otherwise, we will use chemical munitions. They're going to use chemical. Less lethal because he has knives. I'm sure the one settlement had something to do with how they go about things. They're moving in on them, guys. You can see them. They're moving in. They're using some poor guy's truck as. About to shoot something into his truck. They got lines of fire. It's all about pointing. Watch out for Mandy pointing right in her direction. Got a got a guy going crazy. He's trying to do something. He's trying to get in. He's he's crossed lines, crossed police lines. As it unfolds. We've got guys posted up. They're gonna burk at Craig. They're on the phone. They're they're clearing everything. They're about to start. They're gonna go in on this dude soon. I'm gonna get back to y'all when it does. Definitely giving Craig plenty of time. <laughs> Way more than they gave that other kid. What do we got?
He's a big old white dude from North Carolina. Oh, it is? Yeah. He's not Spanish, dude. He ain't Spanish. <laughs> uh, he's come into the store a couple of times. I didn't know he was crazy, though. Yeah. Pretty much got everything set the way they want it. Craig, this is the police. Please come out of your vehicle with your hands in the air. Craig started his truck. Probably just running his AC to cool himself off. He has his windows up. I know the sun's hot, man. I'm sitting here. We're up, we're up in the mountains, and normally it's pretty cool. And then with it being fall and everything, but you know today that sun is definitely beaming. Who's controlling traffic? Why? Right. I... See the car Come back there? The car back there just... So they've completely blocked off the street. So there's no traffic on this street at all. No traffic. Everything is shut off. Um, running pretty low on battery, guys. Started with a full battery. Um, about 40 minutes into this video. Craig, this is the police department. Please come out of your vehicle with your hands in the air. Comply with our command.
I finally got him to come out. Hey. Tom, you went and got your coffee from over there, Tom? Man, I got tired of waiting, man. I, I need my coffee. Hey, All right, the same person. We just want you to stand beside the table. You guys can be Peacefully. Yeah. <laughs>